Let's get the cast and creators out here. First of all, creator Jonathan Nolan. <laughs> Greg Plegeman. <laughs> Mr. Jim Caviezel. <laughs> the great Michael Emerson. Kevin Chapman. Sarah Shahi. And last but not least, the lovely Amy Acker. So Jonathan, let's start off uh, with the question of uh, why create this show? What was going through your mind, uh, uh, besides paranoia? <laughs> uh, it turns out Which it turns out you were right. I know, I know. You, you keep telling your wife that. I was right, honey. Um, it, it was actually all an elaborate scheme to try to get the government to have, pay us residuals. <laughs> um, no, we were interested in, uh, I, I, I was interested in surveillance, um, and then interested in the idea of what happens with all that information. What if you had access to that information and you were in a position to, to do something with it? Well, you know, I've he I heard you interview before and you make the point that, you know, like probably 99% of this audience is giving out more information on themselves than the CIA could have collected 20 years ago, uh, the top guys there. And it's just kind of crazy. People don't think about it. And you've kind of made people think. I know when I walk around now, I'm constantly looking for cameras. I'm completely paranoid. <laughs> No, it's, it, the information is working in funny ways. I read an article the other day that described Mark Zuckerberg as being at the head of the world's largest spying agency. And I think yeah. there's, there's something to that. Well, you know, and there's constantly their questions. But now, of course, we find out that the machine really does exist. <laughs> it, it does. Well, I think our, our, our machine uh, is a whole lot more efficient than PRISM. Based on what we read. <laughs> Yours is a little, but who knows? Maybe, maybe they're spitting out numbers too, relevant or non-relevant. It's possible. If so, someone in the NSA is laughing every Tuesday at 10 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> do you get, uh, where do you get your information? I mean, uh, you know, do you have consultants for all of this? We think, Greg. Greg, Greg <laughs> question for you. Uh, I feel a little bit like the NSA chief right now. <laughs> Standing before Congress, it's just amazing. Because um, again, it, we're not that far off at all. There's really nothing in it that's science fiction now. Uh, no. Uh, we have a technical consultant on the show named Tony Camarino, who's is absolutely fabulous. Uh, he's, Iraq, he was an Iraqi interrogator in the Air Force as well. Um, but a lot of the things that we get, uh, fortunately, are, are falling right from the news. Yeah. Uh, there's nothing, every one of the writers is constantly sending information back and forth. I think uh, we just found out uh, yesterday or the day before that um, Huawei, one of the major uh, technological companies in the world, is uh, probably spying for the Chinese and they knew it all along. And it's just. Uh, if you look back on a number of episodes that we've done, it's really easy to get inspiration from those. Uh, one thing I want to say, though, is I, I, I just, you could tell from that reel up there just how amazing our, our cast and crew is, and I just want to thank all these guys for coming. Yes. Up. Well, and talking about the cast, I mean, I think you guys have assembled a great cast, and it keeps changing and building as the story does, and we're working in more people, and we're building a big team. And I love what's going on uh, in the police department, and we've got a dirty cop on our hands now. Or not, you know, but the, what's great about it, it's shades of gray on this show. Like, nobody's completely right. Nobody's com Even which, when you guys are doing, going out to help somebody, like the guy who was laundering money in the casino, he's a money launderer, and you gave him a restaurant, Michael. How dare you? <laughs> But, you know, it's that sort of thing. So how do you feel about your character uh, changing now and becoming uh, a, a dirty cop or not? I mean, it was years ago, but he still, he, he could become that and where the show is going now with all of this. I, I, I like to refer dirty. to him as conflicted. Not conflicted, dirty. okay. <laughs> No, it's great. I mean, I, I, I think that Fusco is now coming back to the once heroic image of himself, and, and it's really nice to see him kind of um, come into the fold and, 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 and get back to the thing that I think once drove him to be a cop. Yeah. So it's, it's kind of cool to take Don't that Don't get too turn. comfortable. Don't yeah, right. I, I had a feeling that was coming, Greg. <laughs> I mean, uh, Jonah, excuse me. Well, talk about Gray. Amy, I love your character because we're just not sure where, you know, sometimes I'm waiting, she's doing the right thing. And you know what? You're, everybody says she's kind of mean, but I think she's having fun with it. Uh, you seem to be having fun with it. 
Oh, it, it's great. I mean, every time I read a script, I just am like, I get to say that? <laughs> so, um, but I don't think she's mean. It's just if people don't do what she tells them to, then she gets upset. <laughs> it certainly can. I think can we favor. all identify with that. <laughs> Um, and uh, and uh, Sarah, your uh, your character Shaw is awesome. Everybody, lo- yeah, I quickly became a fan favorite. And uh, where do you see your character going now that you've sort of left the agency? And uh, and what's she going to be doing next? Um, you know, I. I don't know. That's a good question. If it's another Shades of Grey. It, you it, it be... is. It is. You know, the thing that I love the most about her is her unpredictability and the fact that she really could go anywhere. Um, you know, we talk about her as being the, uh, the female Jason Bourne. Mm. And, um, you know, at this point, yeah, she kind of is a, a man with no country. But um, these guys have taken her in and, and given her some duties yeah. Um, but for the most part, I just have to say, it's so much fun killing people. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> I mean, and the, and the stunts are just so bad, ASS, for the children under 18. Um, and uh, no, I mean, I'm, I'm incredibly grateful to, you know, work with such a pedigree of talent every day. It's amazing. And you get to shoot in a great city, New York, and it's yes. not fake New York. It's real New York, it's and that makes a New huge York. difference. Yeah, I, I just moved there, and yes, there is a huge difference. <laughs> yeah, well, and also the heat. It's like a thousand degrees there right now, but let's yeah. not talk about let's that. Let's not talk about that. <laughs> but that's fun. You get to shoot people at the library, wherever you might be. I get to shoot people everywhere. everywhere. And, you know, it's... it's <laughs> My, my husband doesn't really like the way I put it like this. He's like, how was work today? I'm like, it was awesome, honey. I just chased boys all day long, and then I shot them. <laughs> it's, like, it's like grade school all again for you, huh? I know. It's great. It's, it's, her, it's her flirtations, you know? Yeah.